And your side team often warns you about scams. That's our job. And a Dauphin County woman listened to our warning and it saved her a lot of money and grief. I was trying to sell three end tables, sofa table and a coffee table. Robin Crossley says she posted all four of those items for sale on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. Within five minutes, she said she had a buyer for the $100 coffee table. He wanted me to hold it for him while it's sold. He'd pay me an extra $50 and he'd overnight me a check for the 150. So Robin agreed to the deal. Three days later, I got a check for $1,950. That's $1,800 more than the agreed on price. So she texted the buyer who told her the extra money in the check was for the movers coming to get the table. Robin was to send the movers the extra money. When I got the check for the exorbitant amount of money, yes. That's when I was positive it was a scam. She was positive because Robin says she remembers the warnings that she heard from the eight on your side team. Eight on my side say be, I guess, $1,800. If Robin had deposited the check, within days she would learn the check was fake, and she would then be financially responsible for the money she sent away to the fake movers. It could have went down a whole lot different, that I couldn't have anybody to blame but myself, but in this case I have you to thank because you taught us, you showed us. Well, we're glad as always to help out. One other thing I want to add here, this uh, scammer, after he sent her the check, he kept insisting that she make a mobile deposit, go through mm -hmm. her mobile phone. He didn't want her going to a bank because if right. she went to a bank, someone would say, hey. They would flag that. Yeah, you're about to be scammed. So right. we're glad that she uh, watched our warnings and saved herself some money. And I remember you doing stories on that. So it's, it's great that you saved her some money there, Brian.